Hi, I'm Sally Kirk, author of Hope for the Autism Spectrum. It was a godsend for me and my son when I discovered the medical doctors and research scientists of the Autism Research Institute at autism.com. At the time, my son had horrific anxiety. That was his biggest problem. But he had some serious learning issues as well. Social skill deficits, obsessive interests, and other behaviors that are common on the autism spectrum. What these doctors and researchers were saying was that there are often underlying health problems in the body that when they're identified and treated, that not only does the body's health improve, but it can also improve brain function and autistic behaviors. And though I was skeptical of that, I was still very interested. And so I poured over all of the books and the articles and the presentations by these medical doctors and research scientists. And what I discovered was that my son had several red flags waving over his health landscape. Things like constipation, diarrhea, wanting to eat foods that contain a lot of dairy and wheat, and these pink bags under his eyes that the doctors refer to as allergic shiners. These were things I was familiar with, I knew, was aware of, and so were his pediatricians and the many, many specialists that I had had him to over the years. But none of us recognized that they were pleas from his body for help and needed treatment. So I followed the recommendations of the Autism Research Institute medical doctors, and my son improved dramatically. And as a result, my life improved dramatically. It was great for the whole family. So I felt compelled to write this book so that not only to tell our story and what happened, but to give you easy to understand information about biomedical intervention. The book is full of all sorts of references to the original works by doctors and researchers so that you know what I am saying is founded in medicine and its science. Biomedical intervention includes problems in the health in the digestive tract, the immune system, and body chemistry. And the interventions make so much sense once you understand what the underlying health problems are. Interventions like vitamins and certain supplements, changes in diet, avoidance of toxins. The book includes not only easy to understand information, but also a wealth of practical, hands-on information that parents will be glad to see. It's a good book for people who help children and adults on the autism spectrum, like teachers and therapists, and may also be helpful for adults on the autism spectrum themselves. So it is my hope, my fervent hope, that this book helps you.